Peace of Christ to all of you. In this video, we will talk about Muslim refutation to me. A group of Muslims, they gather together and they decide to refute me. And this refutation is about the death of Muhammad. Now, for sure, this picture does not really present how Muhammad he died. Uh, the story is totally different. And um, here it sounds like a fancy house, etc. Uh, <coughs> you know, in Saudi Arabia, uh, not because they don't have the money anymore, but uh, I mean they are raving, they are gathering gold, etc. But there is no skills of building, and uh, they don't know how to build. Uh, this is why, if you go to Saudi Arabia now, they are trying to find an ancient uh, buildings. But obviously, if you find something, this is not have nothing to do with the Arab. The Arab are Bedouin; they do not know how to build. So when you see like this fine window and the, this nice bed, this is just all a fiction drawing. But anyway, so Muhammad is in the bed, is dying, and the Muslim they say that the Christian prince is lying about his death. And what Christian prince he said, that Muhammad he died because of a poison. And when the Muslim they try to refute me, in fact they are refuting their own prophet because it's not me who said that, it's their prophet. So. If we ask the Muslims who made those videos trying to refute Christian Prince, are you sure you are refuting Christian Prince or you are refuting Muhammad? If we go and do a little check, we will find this. This is an official Islamic website, and this is the Fatwa number, islamweb.net. And by the way, this website recommended by the, the Ketchup Sheikh, uh, Sheikh Uthman. So here the Fatwa is, they, they are asking a question. Uh, clearing the misconception about the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, which means Allah, he prayed for him, not to him, dying from being poisoned. And this is the fatwa number, you can check it out. Let me zoom in for you so you can see it. All right? 260611. I mean, it's clear, right? Unless you have a very bad uh, vision sight. And here the question is requested a brother i have a question in my mind that is seriously bothering me i have read somewhere hadith that a jewish woman tried to poison the prophet bbuh can you explain that this hadith says that a jewish woman tried to poison uh, etc and uh, and he passed away from the effect of the poison so this is the question now the question is very long you know, and here the the, 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 mo the most important part of this question, uh, that in the hadith, when the woman, she said, uh, if you are a prophet, Allah will save you. If you are not, you will die. So here is saying, uh, uh, Anas reported that the Jewish or the Jews came to, uh, to Allah Messenger uh, up, uh, and, uh, you know, when they poisoned him, uh, and he felt the poison etc and he is dying from the effect and he asked the jewish woman <coughs> that she said i was determined to kill you and he said allah will never give you the power to do it so listen carefully muhammad he confirmed that this woman who is her intention is to kill him by putting the poison obviously you don't put poison in a food for somebody just to bother him so uh, uh, Muhammad he said to her clearly Allah will not give you the power to do so which means you cannot really if you think you can kill me by the poison Allah will not allow it so this guy is here asking so if this is the case Allah will not allow it how then he later he died from the poison and here you will notice the answer that the, uh, I will post the link for this uh, fatwa under the video so you can read it and here the answer is coming all praise be to allah blah 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 firstly it should be noted that revealed text in the quran and sunnah can never be contradictory can never be <clears throat> take a note so the muslims who say a christian prince he is taking a fake hadith you will see right now the answer in your islamic scholars website saying this is very authentic and there is no point this is true and this is what happened read carefully uh, that sometimes it seems to be con uh, contradictory 
therefore is the result of our poor understanding so if you if you see something look like a contradiction this is your stupidity okay mm -hmm. uh, we should first question our understanding before etc let us go down what is the answer we want to see the answer <clears throat> all right the hadith which indicate that the prophet sallallahu alayhi wasallam died from the effect let me highlight it of the poison in the food that a jewish woman served him are authentic authentic and narrated in sahih narrated in sahih al-bukhari sahih muslim etc and other hadith book and here he continue explaining that this is no question this is what happened that the prophet he died because of poison so you dummies those who make videos to refute me you want to refute me you refute your books I mean this is sahih and this is authentic and then you are saying you want to refute me and how you refute me you say is well if Muhammad he died you know he was uh, he ate poison, uh, poison, how he died three years after. Very simple. Poison caused damage for the tissues of the body. If not, did not kill you right away, but you cannot recover from it. Which means, if the poison could cause damage to your kidney, well, your kidney is damaged already. So, depend how big the damage, how fast you die. They're very simple. You cannot fix it. You cannot repair it. So, there is no recovery really from poison. As an example, if somebody was, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, let us say a snake did, did, did bite you, the tissue where this poison spread, that one is dead, that's it. You cannot really, you know, you, you can recover from the, uh, uh, from the poison, which means it's not enough to kill you, but the damage is happening, you cannot ever fix it. So, obviously, the damage is big, and it took Muhammad three years, but doesn't make a difference if he died a day after or three years after you know we hear these days about somebody he have cancer 20 years after taking a medication so medication is not a it's not a poison this is a medication and then you sue like you know we, we heard about uh, Johnson and Johnson the powder for children's uh, so many many people they got uh, millions of dollars because their babies later away they got uh, they get cancer why because of the powder they are not eating the powder they are not putting it in their mouth they just put it there in the private part area so you know for for the diver it, yet it can cause cancer so it's a poison it's not a disease you can heal it from it is not a, 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 a bacteria uh, you know you your body fight it and you win this is a disease is uh, uh, you know it can be fought but if it's a poison then the poison would destroy tissues and this is how the poison work so uh, and here you see hence there is no room for claiming that such a report are unauthentic so those abduls who they are trying to refute christian prince saying those are not authentic because they contradict the quran hear the answer for you it is authentic and now why they are saying it's to contradict the Quran? Because simply the Quran says, Allah, he protect Muhammad from the people. Chapter 5, verse number 67. Messenger of Allah, preach what is revealed for you. This is the Muslim translation, which I don't accept. From your Lord, if you will not preach, it would be as thought you have not conveyed my message God protect you from men so this is the promise which is making the Muslim confused how Allah here the word God is Allah is not God really Allah is a name is not a word mean God so the translation is stupid so this God Allah he is protecting Muhammad from the man oh she is a woman <laughs> yeah we'll hear what the, what the, what the Quran says uh, it didn't say really man. It says, "Ya simu kamin nas nas people." So a Muslim cannot even escape. Say, "Oh, this is a woman. She is the man." Like the movie says, 
uh, like the what what his name this uh, this uh, shadow uh, no man can kill him then a woman she kill him <laughs> the word here is nas it is not a man if you change a translator just to show you how a Muslim translation is not to be trusted anyway. Never trust Islamic translation. <clears throat> uh, let, us, let us go to Biktal. And then right away we will see what it says here. Let us see. Aha. Uh -huh. So Allah will protect you from mankind. Allah will protect you from mankind. So how Allah will protect him from mankind, and this is the promise from Allah, and then Muhammad, he died because of a poison. You solve the problem. And this is again in chapter 5, verse number 67, as you see in the screen. So now we ask ourselves the very, like a, the one billion dollar question. If there's no contradiction between the Hadith and the Quran, how Allah, he protect Muhammad, and he don't protect Muhammad. The Muslim they come to a solution. They say to you, no, no, no. This is about protecting the Quran, brother. Like, no, read carefully. It's not about protecting the Quran. It says, Allah protect you. Not the message, not the Quran. So, when a poor Muslim, poor Abdul, he try his best, to come with the conclusion that he's a prophet uh, you know there's no way this is happening uh, because it's very embarrassing so Allah he saved Jesus but he could not save Muhammad the word prophet he died because of poison from Walmart cost 50 cents right poison is that possible is it possible that the God who claimed that Muhammad is the most beloved he died because of a poison and Jesus, who is not the most beloved to Allah, he is right now in heaven alive and he saved him from the Jews. Now remember, both they want to kill is the Jews. The Jews wanted to kill Jesus and the Jews wanted to kill Muhammad. The Jews, according to Islam, succeed to kill Muhammad by poison. And the Hadith confirmed that. And as you see, it's very sahih, very authentic. This exists all over. All over. This is not one place, two places, three places. It's all over. Al Bukhari and etc. And Muslims confirm that this is Sahih. So when a Muhammadan he tried or he say or he claim that he is refuting me, I laugh. You are not refuting me. You are trying to refute your prophet. You are accusing your prophet that he's a liar. If you're a prophet, he says, I feel like the poison I ate at Khaybar is the reason for my death. Well, is he lying? Is he inspired by God? Isn't it your prophet who used to tell people what to take a medicine when they are sick? So he can tell you what the medicine for you when you are sick. And the funny is, Muhammad, he say many things like, uh, you know, uh, the Nagla seed is uh, the medicine for uh, anything you want. So if we type here, I'm using my phone, so holding the phone with one hand and typing with the other one. According to Muhammad, that the Nagla seed is the one who can be as a remedy for every disease except death. Well, Muhammad is not dead yet. Take Nagla seed. <laughs> So I say to the uh, to the acute Muslims who try to refute me, you cannot because I got all your laundry, and this is one of the laundry of your prophet, and it's big and it's smelly. Negla seed is the remedy for any disease. Are you sure? So we do not need hospitals. We do not need anything. Just take the negla seed. Who in the world want to believe in this? Is that authentic? It is authentic and the hadith is repeated all over so if you want to say to me oh this is not a true as you see this is Sahih Muslim this is Sahih al-Bukhari huh? we know the game you you know you make what is your what you like you make it uh, authentic and what you don't like you make it not authentic so 
to make it short when the prophet he says to this woman Allah will not allow you to do so Muhammad he exposed himself heavily because by saying such a thing he proved exactly what the women she wanted to prove because the women when she gave him the, the, the poison she said to him well if you are a prophet of Allah he asked her why you did that she said well if you are a prophet of Allah Allah will protect you if you are not and if you are imposer then you will die and this is exactly what happened and as you see this is very authentic and the story is all over as we see so the death of Muhammad is proven to be authentic by poison recorded by Muslims transmitted from Aisha from Muhammad approved by the scholars but it's hurting the feeling of youtubers well sad what I can do to you my friend maybe you should take some nigla seed and that will help you share the video thank you very much I hope the voice is improved with this uh, a new way to record still we are using the microphone the, the phone but I added a microphone temporarily until we all uh, get the new one thank you share the video with everybody and tell me what do you think and leave your comment and remember when you leave your comment you help us to get more people to watch and to join don't be lazy it's a comment we are not asking you to donate money or asking you to donate comment can you if you cannot I think it's time for you to take the necklace seed you need it obviously <laughs> take care God bless